I didn't have the chance never to, to saw him play. But um, since I was a kid, uh, my uncle told me about uh, Rod Laver is one of the greatest of the history, if not the greatest. I remember yeah, most of the matches, not certainly not all of them, but the ones that were important and were critical at that time. And I think you know, those sort of things get, tend to be stuck in your memory bank. I love Australian history and obviously learnt so much about Rod and his career and growing up in Queensland and uh, you know, being a left-hander and working so hard. I know a lot about his, uh, his past and you know, it's amazing to have, to have the chance to have met this uh, you know, huge legend. You know, what he achieved was, was very, very good. I probably was a shy kid when I grew up and, and, and I just enjoyed doing and playing and competing. And I think that's, uh, that's, that's the way my sort of my motto was to, you know, not not expand on what I had done. That it was just the mere fact that I enjoyed doing doing it, and I had respect for your opponent and respect for the game, and I thought that was important too. For me, who uh, then started to achieve so much, you know, that I had someone to look up to or someone to get inspired from or someone you're just very happy and proud to meet from time to time. And when you get good support from a legend like uh, Rod Laver, um, it's only about helpful, of course. It's good to, to, to meet this kind of, uh, of legend. And that's what is strange because we, I never saw him play. But uh, what is good, it's uh, we always have the, the respect uh, of uh, the people who was before us in the game. I think he's known as much for his humility as, as his success and he's continued to stay a very grounded rocky boy and I think that's really um, has been a testament to him. You did it because you loved the sport and or you, or you represented your country no matter what country you played and that's that was where I think you look back and say well I think maybe that the today's tennis players might enjoy reading some of the past and so that's that's hopefully that's what people would have, will, will get out of it. All those guys have so many great stories and, and I love sitting back and listening to Nuke and Rochis over the years and I'm sure Rod's going to be no different as well so yeah it's going to be a good read. I think it's uh, great that for the players who don't quite know him yet or are young and never heard of Rod Labour is that his name will be there in a bigger way because his legacy should be extremely big. Congratulations, Royal Labour. On the launch of your book. Really looking forward to reading it, mate. It's going to be a fantastic read. I can't wait to read it. I hope you've got some juicy stories in there, mate. Yeah, a lot of times people don't get a career that takes you this far.